Creepy, this is a very shine I present to your Dragon Age Origins. I... Ah, yes, I need to level. So I, I um, have notes on this, um, <laughs> because I'm... Oh, and I have a, I have, I have a kind of ninja um, cold. What I want to end up with in the end um, is about 30 cunning, about um, which I need for the lockpicking skill, about 30 willpower or a bit less if so, about 20 strength, certainly not more, perhaps less. Um, I will start building these um, willpower and, and, and strength and I will also need 30 cunning obviously and the rest goes into dexterity um, after the circle tower because I will get free stats there and is especially si things like strength and willpower that I don't need excessively as a rogue I will do after that because yeah so I will, I will go with uh, cunning and and I said 30 cunning twice um, and constitution I want to get up to 20 or so for every character so um, even even a win I will I will put one point in constitution now so I'm on 15 and I'll leave constitution alone for a while after that um, cunning and dexterity isn't it um, let me say let me look um, at the next page ah uh, what the, the the that's here this um requires 22 cunning i'll i'll i uh, may soonish or at least before i enter dinner room for the first time um get me the stealth thing i can only take that level four okay uh improved combat training ah that's a good thing that's good to know uh what i will do now is uh, oh my lord uh, I'll put one in cunning and one in dexterity. I'll spread these evenly and after the after the um after the circle tower I will continue doing that a little less erratically. Um the specialization I'm planning with her is is a ranger is a ranger dualist combination, I think I thought. I'll get an assassin, I will have him with me. And or was it Ranger Bard that I wanted? I'm not certain. I've got that in my notes too both have their own goodies. Um, I, will, I, will, I will not need stealth for the moment. I want... Rapid shot is the only useful thing I can take because I will never get too close. I, I, I will avoid getting close to enemies therefore that won't help me too much. Let me use a rapid shot and I think I have that if that is in my checklist because I have a checklist what I want to take. Rapid shot is on it, yes, definitely. I want a rapid shot. Um, good, that's that. Then I will now start talking to people. I also reset the audio a bit, or I I, I turned the volume of the of the of the dialogue up a bit and the volume of the uh, of the of the background and the music down. Greetings. King Kalen is not in his tent right now. I'll try it. Uh, tell me about the king. You must see him a lot. I suppose I do. Though he's spending most of his time with the Grey Wardens. He rides with them wherever they go, in fact. Terran Loghain sees the king whenever he can and argues with him over coming battles. But the king just waves him off. The king wants to end the blight with a single huge battle the bards will sing of for centuries. Do you think that's possible? We'll see in the coming battle. That's how the Terran feels. He'll do what the King wants in the end, though. The King thought it was funny the Terran called him reckless, and they fought about the Queen. The Queen? She's the Terran's daughter. He wasn't happy about something she did or the King did, I'm not sure. <laughs> probably shouldn't discuss it. I should go. As you wish. You approach the tent of Terran Loghain. State your business. Tell me about Terran Loghain. How can you not know of Loghain? He helped free Ferelden. He was the brains behind King Marek's armies and drove out those damned Orlesians. King Marek rewarded him by making him a Terran. Can you imagine? 
A commoner became a high nobleman just like that. Without Logan, you can bet the king wouldn't be winning against these darkspawn. Is the turn inside? What is he doing? He's inside, but I don't think it's my place to discuss his activity. <laughs> Surely you can tell me a little about him. I suppose, as long as we talk quietly. He and the king have been arguing for days. The Tern's known the king since he was swaddled, so they don't stand on ceremony. The Tern speaks his mind, and the king yells right back. Personally, I think the king should do what Tern Logan tells him. Without the Tern, we wouldn't be doing as well here as we are. I would like an audience with the Tern, please. Hmm. I suppose you have a message for him. That's just brilliant. Hold on, then. Did I have coercion? Do I have coercion? I must have coercion. Yes, what is it? Oh, you're Duncan's new Grey Warden, I assume. I am not a Grey Warden yet. You impressed his majesty, nonetheless. He could not contain his excitement over your meeting. Kalen's fascination with the Wardens goes beyond the ordinary. Are you aware his father brought your order back to Ferelden? No, I didn't know that. Marik respected the Grey Wardens. They have an honored place in the hearts of our people. But Marik would have understood that it takes more than legends to win a battle. That's not an argument I'll repeat here. You're no surface dwarf, I can see it in your eyes. Smart are the Grey Wardens to look for new recruits in Orzammar. I don't suppose you'll be riding into the thick of battle with the rest of your fellows, will you? I certainly hope so. Here for the glory, huh? Fair enough. Now I must return to my task. Pray that our king proves amenable to wisdom, if you're the praying sort. And if he doesn't? Then simply pray. That was looking. Um, interesting. Uh, let me look quickly because... Ah, uh, no. Where do I see that even? I want to know if I have... Uh, huh. Never mind. Um, character records, spells and talents. I want to see if I have coercion somewhere. What the hell? Um, I wanted to see something else. I wanted to see if I have coercion. Skills, that's that. Yes, I have one, one point in coercion. That absolutely makes sense. Because other than that... That's Duncan right there. I'm not talking to Duncan. There's a quest over here. Yes, that's that one. Mm, this isn't good. I hate to waste such a promising member of the breed. Are you the new warden? I could use some help. What's the problem? This is a Mabari. Smart breed and strong. His owner died in the last battle, and the poor hound swallowed darkspawn blood. I have medicine that might help, but I need him muzzled first. I'll give it a shot. Go in the pen and let him smell you. We'll know right away if he'll respond. Let's hope this works. I'd really hate to have to put him down. Oh, poor thing. Well done. Now I can treat the dog properly, poor fella. Come to think of it, are you heading into the wilds any time soon? I might be, why? There's a particular herb I could use to improve the dog's chances. It's a flower that grows in the swamps here, if I remember. If you happen across it, I could use it. It's very distinctive, all white, with a blood-red center. Ah, uh, wait. Where in the wild would I find this flower? It usually grows in dead wood that collects at the edge of ground pools. Should be plenty this time of year. Will the dog be alright without it? If he doesn't get it, chances are he'll need to be put down. I'll see if I can find it. Good. In the meantime, I'll begin treating our poor friend. So, we have found a quest here and I recommend you do that. Let me take a look. No, I don't want to talk to Duncan. I need the map. 
Yes, uh, we are looking for that Alistair back there, I assume. You there, Elf. What's your name? Uh, it, it, it's Pick, sir. Go tell Turn Logan that the war party's ready to begin scouting. We'll send word if we find anything amiss. It's a quartermaster, yes, isn't away, it? Sir. If you're an, um, I, I was startled a bit because he says that to you when you're an elf, pulling you into a conversation with him. Apparently, when you're a dwarf um, or something else, uh, or a human in that case, you will. No, that's the quartermaster so, here. Any last wishes I can help fulfill before you head into battle? I will. I will. I will go to the to, to the quartermaster that because I'm sure I have rubbish I can sell. Some dark spawn spear this time tomorrow. I shall do it. Hey, look at that. Talk to that guy, please. Thanks. Have you seen an elf running about? Young woman, red hair, carrying a suit of chain. Can't say I have no. Blast it. Where did she go? That suit better be patched up when she gets back or by the maker up. No. Oh, pardon my manners. My troubles are no concern of yours, I'm sure. Oh, I'm the quartermaster. Did you come for supplies? What kind of supplies do you have? Arms and armor, for the most part. It's for the king's men, but uh, you Grey Wardens can buy what you need for a modest price. I also have some uh, goods on the side I can provide. Strictly off the record, of course. Okay. To keep morale up, you understand. <laughs> Let me see your other goods. So long as you keep it quiet. I wonder what that is for all the poultices. Oh, that's good. That is absolutely excellent. Okay, um, let me see. Uh -huh. Metal kite sheet, I don't need a shield. Ah, uh, yes, valuables. Because valuables or other. I don't have valuables. Th that would be valuables. Other. I don't think these have anything, any use. Use of grounding. I don't think I'll be exposed to electricity damage anytime soon or fire damage. At least not in an amount where I will need any poultices for it, so I'll sell them. Um, I will. I will. By the way, about the codices, I will. I will. I will read the, read out the codex entries after all. But I will do that in separate videos, and I will. I will probably link to them, or at least put into the description where they are. That's one of the guys who's interesting. Greetings. You must be the third recruit we've heard about. I am. Who are you? Sir Jury is my name. I hail from Redcliffe, where I served as knight under the command of Arl Eamon. I wasn't aware dwarves could be Grey Wardens. I've only seen a few of your folk in the castle dealing with the smithy. Not all dwarves are smiths, you know. Of course. My father was the castle smith, so I encountered dwarves through him. I hope we're both lucky enough to eventually join the Wardens. Is it not thrilling to be given that chance? I'm curious about the joining ritual. As am I. Has anyone told you about it? Only that it's dangerous. I never heard of such a ritual. I had no idea there were more tests after getting recruited. I suppose since you're finally here, I'd best get back to Duncan. I shall see you there. Alright, uh, there is another recruit somewhere, but I'm not going to specifically look for him. If I run into him as I ran into Jory, I will, of course, talk to him. There's something else here, I know that. I'm glad I played a rogue. I can also sell a lot of that armor. Light armor. I can only wear light armor is the thing here. I'm always looking for medium armor. I saw something glinting. Didn't I? Perhaps I didn't. Um Hush, my dear. You'll only open your wounds if you continue. There is Sorry, miss, the army camp is off okay. limits for you right now. Very well. Is that, that is here. That's what I'm looking for. Huh. Someone finally comes and talks to the lone prisoner. I don't suppose you've come to sentence me. And if I have? I doubt I'm that lucky. I don't suppose you have a bit of kindness in you. All I want is food and water. They haven't fed me since I was locked up and I'm starving.
I'll see what I can do. Wait, that's horrible. Why haven't they fed you? I think it also would be a bit sympathetic. I expect nobody thought of it with all the battles and such. I'll see what I can do. Just ask my guard for his. He's still got some dinner. I saw him put it in his coat. Right. Lucky dog. You great wardens get to ride with the king while I'm left with the drudgery of guarding this deserter. They should have just hanged him. Put his head on a pike as an example. Nice. I had a chat with him, actually. Don't expect it was an enlightening conversation. He asked for some food and water. Did he now? Since nobody sends me nothing to feed him with, the only way we'll get that is if I give him mine. So you miss one meal. This man could be hanged soon. All right, all right. I guess the poor fella could stand to have one meal in his belly before he hangs. Don't know why you care. I had nothing to do with it, though. If anyone asks why he's burping, I'm gonna say it was you. Just so you know. <laughs> you can, by the way, also kill the deserter, which I did with my slightly crazy tabers. So? Brought me some food, have you? I'm so hungry I could faint dead away. Here's some food. Much obliged. You're a kind soul, you are. May Andraste herself rain blessings upon you. My belly thanks you. <laughs> At least if I'm hanged, I'll have a little weight on me. Oh, never mind. If you, if you apparently you have to be a bit reluctant to help him because he can give you a key to a chest that I haven't found yet. No, that's nothing here. Wait, that's back at the tents. Um, perhaps I need to try and find the chest first. But it doesn't matter really. It's, it's really, it doesn't matter. Let me, I want to bridge from the other side because... Soldiers of Ferelden. I'm sorry, but the mages, must, the mages not be must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade? The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead, or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed, not even by Grey Wardens. I apologize, I'll go elsewhere. So, all right. Sought to open a portal into the heavenly golden city itself. Perhaps he's here, the other sin, one. And they were cast back into our world as dark. Nope. Fall. What's the green the thing there? Sins made flesh, an evil that spreads like an illness across No, our never land. mind. All right, let me talk to the. Uh, face the evil within ourselves. There, there, there's the other recruit. Well, you're not what I thought you'd be. What did you think I'd be? Not a dwarf, yet. Here you are. The name's Davith. <laughs> it's about bloody time you came along. I was beginning to think they cooked this ritual up just for our benefit. Maybe they did. Just to give us a good scare. No, they don't really seem the type. I happened to be sneaking around camp last night, see, and I heard a couple of Grey Wardens talking. So, I listen in for a bit. I'm thinking they plan to send us into the wilds. So what? That wouldn't frighten me. Cannibals, beasts, witches, and now Darkspawn. What isn't to be scared of? It's all too secretive for me. Makes my nose twitch. I guess we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> like we have a choice. They're forcing you to be here. I've got nowhere else to go after what Duncan saved me from. Anyway, I expect it's time to get back to Duncan. That's where I'll be if you need me for anything. You know, these, these Grey Wardens remind me a bit of the Night's Watch of Song of Ice and Fire, or rather the other way around. Um, because, um, obviously you can't be recru recruited from the gallows, quite literally. Uh, yeah, you see? And here's, here's, here's that guy. That course of action is in... Welcome, young woman. Well... Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi. But instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly, we would not get by on charity. 
You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? They are not feared by dwarves. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. It sounds like a horrid practice. It might seem such to you, but I feel no horror. I am content to serve in my role. How is someone made tranquil? Our forehead is branded with magic, which yeah. stills our talent and mind. The process is irreversible as <laughs> as I am aware. Uh, yeah, about the forehead thing, um, in Dragon Age 2, the Tranquil have the sunburst on their foreheads, this Chantry symbol, we'll see it often enough. Um, they were supposed to have it in Dragon Age Origins 2, but somehow the developers couldn't get it done or something of that sort, they didn't fig they couldn't figure out how to do that, so it's not there. Um, I feel badly for you. You do? I feel nothing. As the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. <laughs> Do you need assistance? What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The tranquil have learned their runes and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. What sorts of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. I should go. Goodbye. <laughs> Right, um, so this um, box here is something that is um, the key that the prisoner has. Apparently we are not getting that key, but perhaps I can pick the lock at night. Um, if not, this is only the beginning. It doesn't really make a big difference. Hey, you here. Greetings, young lady. You are Duncan's newest recruit, are you not? He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. I'm Sigyn. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. You've faced Darkspawn before. Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Not much, I'm a dwarf after all. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. What's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. Is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. 
It is as good an explanation as any for now. <laughs> At least it's something to ponder. Yes, occasionally it's wise to contemplate one's actions. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Wynn um, is, is someone we will meet again. We will meet a lot of these people again and Wynn is one of them. Um, she's a character that's getting a lot of hate. I know why, but I love her personally. I always have and I always win. <laughs> I always will. <laughs> um, what the hell was that? So let me go up there. I don't think I was up there. Was I? Oh yes, that's the infirmary, isn't it? Or isn't it even? I have no idea. I've got a good sense of direction in real life, but... But in games somehow it never works. Well, the Warcraft is the worst. I always get lost in Orgrimmar. Um... There are there are just places that aren't they just aren't. Is that the off the other guy was looking for? I have urgent duties, sorry. Perhaps. I'll never find out. Let me see, there's Alistair up there. Well was I everywhere else? I believe so. I wasn't on that side of the bridge much. I wasn't on that side of the bridge much. When I get there next, it will be a bit hectic. Let me take a good look at the other side of the bridge. And then the next video will start with me talking to Alistair. Um, we, are, we, are, we are running into a lot of interesting people here. But there isn't much on the other side of the bridge, I think. Let me look. I don't remember. I remember vaguely that I never went to the other side and missed a bit of stuff there. Would you please keep walking? Thank you. Or you can do it that way too, in fact. My ah, yes, that's a good thing that I went here because elf root is something I will need excessively. There are several resources that you have a limited amount of. Actually, there are probably no resources you don't have a limited amount of. And elf root is one of the most important. We just picked up a bone. There will be a use for it later. I am not going to talk to the soldiers much because they I don't think they have very much to say. Make her watch over you, my lady. Yeah. That's what I thought. Once my timer rings, or maybe it did already ring, there is always a chance that I miss that. It shall be done. Yes, what I picked up was a gift. The beef bone was a gift, actually. You can give gifts to various other party members. You have some gifts that are specific to certain characters. Um, I shall do it. And and here's the deal. I will not um I will there will be spoilers in these videos and I'm thinking of that because of the gift thing now. Because there is there are gifts for a character I will never have and I will tell you for whom they are. So if you don't want that I mean considering how long Origins has been released I am not all too worked up about um, about spoilers because I will never recruit the guy I know that I won't recruit the guy and therefore I feel no guilt over telling you that giving the gift specifically for this one character can be given freely to anyone else if you do not intend to pick him up if you do intend to pick him up it's better you preserve them you keep them stashed away and uh, give him, give them to the guy they belong to in the end. Uh, yes, that was that. There is little else here. Let me have her run on her own and look at my timer, which already rang apparently, but I don't know if it was 30 minutes because I set it to 25 because I set it up so late. So I will just walk back to where Alistair is and talk to him then after. 
I will record the first video of the codices right in 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 uh in what? What did I want to say? In what? Right after this one. And yes, I'll I'll just walk towards where he is and be done. So up there we see the quest marker, that's Alistair up there and someone else and this was Savasia and Dragon Age Origins. Bu weiter.